Hello and welcome to a recording of a remote control service. Looking currently at welcome to gov.uk on two separate computers and they're both actually going to interlink at, uh, on these computers using software called Team Viewer. Depending on which video you're looking at, both will appear to have the word Team Viewer in the software. And what's actually going to happen is we're going to connect these two computers and we're going to entertain or begin a exercise in training. And um, the idea behind the training could be to show you how um, we can actually really develop, deal with issues and challenges that may occur either end. Now, the first challenge is quite often is that you've got software that may require update. Now, one or the other partner may come across this particular issue in the process of doing this. This particular occasion, the master is actually going to update before we actually start, and um, it's actually updating uh, in the process. So it's only visible on one computer of the two videos that you may be able to see. But the plan is going to be is we're actually going to see the two computers connect using the same software at the same time, and they're going to be able to connect with the master computer, which is currently updated on the screen, showing the remote computer aspects of the gov.uk website. Now, if for example the update had occurred on the other side of the remote, it would be uh, an interesting challenge in the same perspective as the master is at the moment. But what we're going to be looking at is some aspects of benefits. One of the great challenges often is that we're going the benefits person, the benefit claimant isn't going to know exactly where we're going to be looking at. And the benefit may be here, so the client may decide that they want to look at that, look at the eligibility of the benefit. They may need to get an understanding of some form of benefit. The pages can be entirely separate, uh, often is the case. And there are two advantages to that because on our master system we connect and we see straight away that John is trying to connect directly on and the master is John as we can see on the right hand side. John is currently moving the mouse around but John actually needs on his master connection to have the option of chatting. The master at this stage actually has the option of saying the word hi which becomes available on the remote as we can see. So the client says I would move over to the remote. I'm now using the remote system. To know about and comment. Now you can see that on one computer system, depending on which video you're watching, you only see the one chat box. In other words, the remote computer has one chat box, but the actual um, support me mechanism. Is the two. John is the support, and you can see John has a message coming up in the same way on the same team view. So, at this stage, the master system is able to slide the support system or master, depending on which way you look at it, is able to slide over and click on the button. And the bridge, yes, here are two of the key issues to do with benefits today. He can show this section or this section and show the links.
The client can take over the remote computer and take over and also move for the um, to whichever decision he wants to go to. And he can click and he can move over to it and ask about the form. So at this stage, again, I'm on the remote and I'm clicking on the remote system. Appeal. And I can type in there and I get the message appearing there on the system. So the master or the support, yes, it's here. And he's now taking the remote over to the decisions page here. So he's moved over. The remote actually has two screens, one here and the customer screen. And if you wish to, he can minimize the screens to actually provide the information separately, test it all out. Now, the remote can't actually see that, and that actually helps us in providing support. So he can go to here and he can click, and you can see the movement. If you're looking at our remote video, you can see the movement there. And he can, the remote decides to click on there, and he's able to take over the information. And he's actually able to constantly talk if he wants to by chat through the microphone. Now there's a microphone on both screens, and they can actually go over to VOIP should they wish to. So we can go onto both systems at any time to actually direct the information through. Okay, let's go on to something slightly more interesting in the terms of text, etc. Let's say, for example, we wanted to put job seeker and we wanted to search that. As you can see, we can actually type in from the master system, the support system directly onto various pages and we can actually see that if I'm again now on the remote system I am being supported or rather the support system is now, t is now taking control of the mouse and we can go directly in there and get a reference number so on the remote I type in 123456 and both see it hidden those numbers. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way we go, we can say the remote can say fine, okay, I can see that. I don't know what your password is. Password appears safe. So neither can see the letters that are being put in, and that may be of some benefit uh, under certain circumstances. If you're filling a form in, however, and it, you just need details, letters will be seen on both computers at the same time. This has a number of advantages to both people. I'm hoping you can see some of the advantages to this video, whichever video you're watching, whether it's the remote or whether it's the support system. And we believe that this has a great future, this opportunity of sharing the information. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to watch this video, whichever video you're watching, whether it's a supported video or the, the supporting video, rather, or the remote video. Just to reiterate, the supporter or the trainer is John and the remote is the number 797 here this is actually communicating back to John we hope that this video has had some benefits